Hi folks, welcome to Set Apart Homestead. This is Travis. I hope this video turns out alright because it's really windy today. Uh, we'll see. It may, sound may not be too bad. Anyways, today I want to talk about home first aid kits. This video is also a video response to NWA Prepper, who is another YouTube channel. I encourage you to go check it out, NWA Prepper. Uh, he's in northwestern Ar Arkansas. And on his channel, he does contests uh, from time to time. And the one he's doing now is for people to make a video response to his channel on a first aid kit that they have. Uh, whether it's a personal one, in their vehicle, at home, uh, whatever it is. So I wanted to show you one that I've been working on. It's not complete. And, you know, with me, bags kits, anything, I never really consider them complete. They're always a work in progress because, you know, I may find something that needs to be improved on or that I can take out and replace or whatever. So that's kind of how this one is. This is what I've chosen to put it in. I did a video a long while back on this bag. Um, I bought this one on Amazon for, I think, $23, $24. I've seen it a few places slightly cheaper actually a very well made bag for the price um, for the most part considering what I paid for it I really like it now it's kind of small uh, so for a guy my size as like a you know go bag bug out bag it's probably a little too small for a kid it would work great but I specifically bought it for our home first aid kit and the reason I picked a bag was because you know we have property and uh, we do things we have animals and and or move around on it so let's say I'm out in the field and I'm working with the cows or I'm building a fence and something happens uh, my wife or the kids can grab this and run down there uh, this is specifically like the home bag so that's a little different than um, you know, an IFAC, like an individual first aid kit that you would carry on your like tactical gear or in a vehicle. Um, you know, in a home, while there are serious trauma injuries that can happen, you know, a lot of times it's just small injuries that you need to kind of take care of. But, you know, so maybe it's just a little boo-boo kit. Um, also remember that statistically, the majority of the injuries that will happen in your life are going to happen at home. Um, so it's very important from a homesteading perspective, um, having a first aid kit, a good one at home is important to us because, you know, things happen, we do things that can cause injury, and we live quite a distance from uh, a hospital, about an hour away from a real small one, two hours away for an actual trauma center. Uh, this also includes uh, for our animals. Uh, maybe we have to take care of the animals. So anyways, let me open this one up and show you kind of how I'm getting it started. Like I said, there's still some things I plan on adding to it. So it's not complete, but it definitely gets you an idea of, of where you can start with one. So my idea is, is that the majority of the time that you need a first aid kit, it's not necessarily going to be for major traumatic things. It's going to be cuts, um, things like that, that that you need a bandage for, maybe more severe cut. So you open it up, and the first thing is one of these. It's a roll-out bag. Now you can find these that are that are designed specifically for first aid. They're red, and they say like EMS or stuff like that. They're quite expensive. Um, I found this one on eBay for $12, and it's very similar, pretty much the same thing, Velcro, and it rolls out and it has little pockets. This is kind of the boo-boo kit. So if myself, the wife, or the kids, we get cut, injured, something like that, nothing that's tr too terribly traumatic, we roll this out and pretty much everything we need is right here. We have different size gauzes, um, different pads, alcohol, uh, different band-aids, uh, something to flush something with, different kinds of tape, Steri strips. Uh, there is some suture kits here. An antibiotic ointment, super glue, uh, all that stuff right here. And there's a, there's some spaces that I could add a few other things. Um, if you wanted, you could set it up to where it would hang. But this is basically, um, you know, what we would use on a regular basis for your non 
traumatic emergency uh, things, which happen quite often out here, you know, getting cut, getting scraped, um, things like that. That is why I've got that separate. All we got to do is pull this thing out, open it up, and pretty much everything we need for that kind of stuff is right here. This has lots of pockets, um, so I've got several different things. These are uh, ketone strips uh, for diabetic. Another thing that I would encourage everyone that lives out like this to have is antihistamine. Uh, because it doesn't need the prescription, uh, we bought this. There was actually a three-pack of these, and this is a, a very large one, a uh, pint. Uh, and this is the kind of, uh, that if you were at a hospital, if they order it from the hospital, that's what this is. This is like what you would order, the hospital's order. And, um, you know, antihistamine is is really important to have out here. Um, you know, bee stings, you know, different poison that you get into, even the snake bite. Um, our dog, <laughs> we have this one dog that he has gotten bit probably three or four times by a copperhead. I don't, you'd think he would learn. He does all right. His face will swell up real big, and we give him some antihistamine and activated charcoal. In two or three days, he's fine. Uh, but he gets, he's, it's probably three or four times he's gotten bit by one. So having something like that uh, is important. Antihistamine is great. This is like a nasal flush for kids. Open up to the Nix pack uh, side, and this is more for like setting splints, wrapping, you know, bandage wraps. We've got several of those. We can also use it uh, for animals. If the animal needs to put a, have a bandage put on them, you know, wrapping their leg up, something like that. I've got extra uh, gauze pads in here. And then the front of it, this package, we've got these bandages, different sizes of bandage rolls. And for the more major stuff, oh yeah, uh, I've got an IV kit, forgot about that. And then uh, this is a surgery kit. Now, I'm not necessarily advocating doing surgery on someone, but there are things in here that, you know, if you, if you got a good splinter or you need to kind of cut something open, um, it would be helpful. I'm not talking about uh, us doing open heart surgery on each other out here, but having a good surgery kit, you know, of course, opening it like that, it's not sterile, so you'd want to do ways to sterilize it as best as you can. But there, you know, on a homestead, something like this can come in handy at times. Um, that's the basics of our, um, our homestead kind of first aid kit and like I said this one is a new one that I'm, I'm working on I don't have it complete yet uh, so there's a few things that I still want to add to it um, ah I forgot I have tourniquets but I took them out because I was trying them out I have two of them they're inside um, I was playing with them on some other gear and I forgot to put them back in the bag. So I, we do have a couple of tourniquets that goes in this. Uh, they're just being played around with on some other gear right now. Anyways, that's basically my video response to NWA Prepper. But it also uh, hopefully can show you that an idea of what you can do for your home first aid kit. You know, I thought about doing something like a toolbox. You've seen people do that or like a tackle box or something. But I wanted something more mobile. Um, you know, if I'm out in the woods hunting or just messing around, something happens, I can call in on the radio, which we usually try to carry radios, and say, hey, you know, I need some help. And it's much easier to grab this, throw it over your back, you know, your shoulder and go. Kids can do it, whatever. Uh, and keep this kind of in a in one location in your home. Have a designated location. This is where the home first aid kit goes. That way everyone knows how to use it. And it's good to always, you know, on occasion bring it out, open it up, look it up, see, see what's in it so you can see if things need to be replaced. But also so that you know where things are at in your first aid kit. All right. Um, that is pretty much the video. I'm trying to keep it short. Um, but... Again, this is, you know, this, this idea of, of putting something like this in it so that you can, you know, just whip it out and boom, you know. In fact, just it wasn't that 
maybe a couple of weeks ago, the wife was cooking in the house and cutting something up and cut herself pretty bad. Um, didn't didn't get stitches, but she cut herself pretty bad and you know pull this thing out, roll it out, clean it up, uh, super glued it, and took care of it. And it's, for us, it seems like that's a, a a good way to rapidly get to it uh, and know where everything's at, where you can see it, and you're not kind of have to sift through a, a box or something to find wh what you need. All right, that is the video for today. Uh, thank you guys and gals very much for watching. I encourage you to go back and check the video just before this one. It's uh, I talk about some downloads, free downloads. It's forms that we use around here to kind of, you know, keep us organized in inventory, whether it's, you know, our food preps, medical preps, taking care of our animals, whatever. And you can find some information on that uh, video of how to download those for free. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.